Here now, forensic pathologist, Dr. Cyril Weck. Dr. Weck, thanks for being with us. Good morning, Jamie. That heart-shaped adhesive that was left behind is significant because heart-shaped stickers were found on other pieces of the duct tape and in the Casey Anthony home. But have you heard any evidence so far by the prosecution that directly links the death of Kaylee Anthony to Casey Anthony? Well, if you take any specific piece uh, in and of itself, I guess the answer is no. But when you put everything together collectively um, and correlate it with the background that has been portrayed by the defendant to herself through her attorneys, then I think you have an overwhelming case. What's the best scientific evidence they could put on to prove that it was a drowning? There is none. Just as the prosecution cannot prove through its forensic scientists that the child died from drowning, so can the defense not prove that it was drowning. When you have skeletonized remains, there is absolutely no way in which to prove or disprove a drowning. The, pro the defense is going to come in with their good, solid experts, and they're going to say, we cannot sh show what the cause of death was, that the duct tape may have been placed on by somebody afterwards. You cannot prove that the duct tape was placed on anti-mortem to produce death from asphyxiation as a result of suffocation covering the nose and the mouth. They're going to talk about the fact that it is a case which uh, could have been accidental uh, and so on and so forth. And, and I, I understand all that, but that's not going to get them anywhere because they cannot go back and erase from what is in the jurors' minds that has been indelibly imprinted therein about the fact that this woman failed to report a missing child for 30, 31 days in almost three years, never said anything about a drowning, and now comes forward and tries to dump on her parents. The jury can just set aside all the forensic scientific evidence and say, hey, man, we're not buying this, and we've got a dead child, okay. and we're not particularly enthralled with this defendant.